Um, so uh, is it already done? Oh. Um, yeah, so what we see today is only a fraction of what will come. Um, and uh, eight weeks ago, they would they are things that I would have told you that would have been different because there are stuff where we believe eight, eight weeks ago that we can um, we can create images that outbeat real images in A/B testing in ads. So it means that because data beats opinion, and I'm not creating art; I'm creating marketing. So marketing marketing elements, we judge them with a KPI, so uh, an in, a key performance indicator. So what we did is we did a test with fully AI content generated um, uh, content that was generated fully by AI that we test on to do community management on Instagram and LinkedIn. And look, we looked at the numbers and basically purely AI generated get outbeated by human by a factor of two. Today, let's see what's coming today. But what comes next is if you have a human using AI, then what he makes beat by a factor of three or four, the human alone. So human alone beat the machine, human alone beat the robot, but the cyber beat them all. So we come in the age of the cyber. Um, so uh, the way we practice it is we build a spell book. So uh, Alex came with this idea of the spell book uh, and she said, hey, um, it's a spell book because basically I use word to make reality. So it's spells. And uh, I can I can I can give you that I, I I cannot give you more than those images, but I can see you can maybe see for example she used vaporwave versus reality and then or vaporwave versus space and she's gonna give give weights to elements and say if you say I wanted vaporwave zero point five and I want space one point five it will give that kind of result so she tests results. And then another thing that she use is uh, she say um, to go fast, you need to say to the to the machine that you're working with, do resolution 0 0.25 because otherwise it takes too long to generate the image. And when the image comes out at a great level, then resolution 2.0. So she pushed the resolution to get great, 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 beautiful results. <clears throat> but it's during the research, she goes in different things and, and then she tests different keywords. And uh, we've been to some, um, some different um, website where you can buy prompts and we tested them. Some are great, some don't, some evolve. So Midjourney 5 need already new prompts and new way to do. And, uh, and so this is what makes us stronger. And as a team is we have this spell book and we exchange it. So we know what we can do and what we can and where we say we have the spell for that. And here we don't have the spell, but we suppose we can find the spell. So we need to explore. That's the, the different way to do. So um, I, I love just to make sure I understand what a spell book is. Um, so a spell book is like a standard operating procedure manual, or it's almost like a yeah. glossary of prompts where you collect all the best prompts for all the different use cases that a designer might come across. Uh, in their day-to-day -day work. And the reason you call it a spell book is because AI is like magic, that you put in words and it creates beautiful images. And that you're borrowing in this spell book from prompts that you're finding all over the internet, some that you're purchasing, some that you're, uh, people are sharing freely. Uh, there is definitely a community out there sharing prompts and what the results are. And then you are essentially keeping that as proprietary information because that is your secret sauce. That is your, your spell book. And so what I would encourage all of you to do, is, you know, this is what a great high level, you know, marketing agency in Switzerland does, but we can all begin building our own spell books and begin to collect our own sets of prompts and then train our teams on them and encourage our teams to contribute to them and have this be kind of a living document where we all learn from each other and get better and better. And that, that spell book will be what allows you to continue to pay, get paid for your work. Because remember in this future, it's not AI versus human, it's AI plus human versus human alone. And the difference between being AI plus human versus human alone is a spell book. Exactly. And, and um, I'm going with you there because um, 
I, I can tell you the, the, there is something that is beautiful with the idea of a spell book is that you can just build your own, for example, uh, me, when I write an email, and I, if I ask ChatGPT to write an email, I'm highly dyslexic. So I make uh, rocky mistakes. And when I, so for me, AI has changed my life because I don't need to ask a colleague to reread my email before I send it to have no, um, no spell check mistake in it. So what I did is then I said, okay, but write me this email, but then it doesn't have my style. So then I, I describe, 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 describe my style. And now I have in one of my notes, my description of my style. And then I say, write me this email. This is my style. And then it comes out and I'm like, ooh, it's like me. It feels like me. So I've got my little prompt for my style um, of talking that I feel like it's my style. It's a bit of clothes that I can put. And then I have another one that is super business-like, another one that is I'm annoyed. Like this, I've got my three prompts to use to not have to be in the mood to get the result. And so you can do that just, uh, I use Evernote, you can use Note, you can use Google, whatever you want, just write it. Um, then I, I ask my designers, uh, and the reason why you don't have one of our designers is because they are scared of presenting and they are, and I love doing it, but they, they really, I asked them to come and they were like, no, 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 it's in English. It's, uh, and they speak super good English, but they don't feel at ease. So I asked them, so what is it? And for them, they say, it's not a new tool like Illustrator or uh, Photoshop or um, InDesign. It's more in the Getty and iStock range. So there is Getty, iStock, Shutterstock, and now there's generative AI. So it's a new tool for images. So Photoshop for poster, ads, et cetera, Illustrator's logo, map, signage, InDesign, you do brochure, flyers, et cetera. And MidJourney is like the new tool that made image in a different, different way, but it's just a tool. And when I use, um, <clears throat> when I see what my colleagues bring out, it's awesome. It's a bit like when the iPad Pro came out with the pen and I saw the beautiful drawing, I said, oh, I'm buying an iPad Pro. And now I go to, when I meet clients, I'll draw them what I want to do. I stopped doing that because it looks shit because I'm bad at drawing. And so I'm bad at drawing with an iPad Pro too. But my colleagues who are great at drawing, they do it and it's amazing. It's, it's like in an ad. So it's a bit the same thing. Um, and if you go to the next slide, you will see that um, basically the, the stack of an element that we have had in 2022 was that. But what comes on top now uh, is we have for original, so for Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, there are no tools that replace them. And because they just bought for 20 billion Figma, I think we are far away from saying anything, any company trying to compete with them. But the original image for photo shoot or photo shoot before we had either original image with photo shoot, but we could use stable diffusion, DALI image journey, plus other tools. And for existing images, we had Getty, iStock, Shutterstock. And now we have stable diffusion, DALI image journey. So it's a bit in the be in between. And they had a very good way to present it to me and why they like or dislike. Uh, if you go to the next slide, is they said, uh, one of the designer that is the more reluctant one to play with, he was like, hmm, no, me, big artist, I don't touch those shit. And uh, then he played with it. And then I said, but refine your prompt, be patient. So, because he was like, look, I did that. It looks terrible. So I said, yes, but refine. And then he refined, refine, refine. And I saw in his eyes, he was like, and then he played with it. So he, he told me the way I feel is before my job was either you ask me to be a curator. So I go to stock photo and I choose the image that represents the most what we're going to do. That's my curator job. Or option number two, we have the budget. They trust me. I'm a painter. I'm going to choose the casting. That's my, I'm going to choose some actors or models. I'm going to choose my photographer and I'm going to do art direction. So I'm the painter and I've got paints that are the decor or the people. And I've got a photographer that is the Canva or the style. And I'm the painter. And now what is coming up is you say, now I have to be a sculptor because in generative AI, it's a bit like sculpting wood. You don't know that in the middle, they're going to be a nod and you're going to have to play with it. You, you cannot just uh, ignore it or say, no, no, I continue to, to knock because it's not a tool you completely control like a photo shoot. And you say, it's a bit of feeling of a sculpture. And someday he wants to be a sculpture and someday he doesn't. And um, 
And uh, Alex loves being a sculptor. Uh, she loves interacting with the ma material. So Mid Journey is more like wood. You can play with it. It's, it's fun. There's lots of resources. It evolves fast. Um, and uh, and uh, then um, Dali and Stable Diffusion are more like marble. It's longer and harder to do, but uh, it, it's working. Um, and using um, generative AI, it doesn't make us designer. Like I've, we did, we did, uh, we, we have 50 people and we did team of three. And for two hours, everyone had a training uh, about how to use the spell book. And for 40 minutes, they tried to design themselves. And then we give them the spell book, train in the spell book. It's very easy. Every team that had a designer with them had outstanding results. Any team without a designer generate a lot of fun. We laughed a lot, but nothing was presentable to our client. We decided to show everything to our client to say that was an experiment on your brand. We played with it. It's catastrophe. We did. It's just, but look what we learned. Look how it started. And, uh, it was very interesting. Um, so here you have the, the, the different uh, element. Um, they will have a physical AI art gallery now. Yeah, why not? I, I'm sure that there's so many ways to play with it and to enjoy it. Um, I'm sure that they're gonna. There's already artists using AI. Yeah, and uh, absolutely, uh, our, our AI art is winning art competitions. 